Okay, so today I want to have a look at the Glidoscope Go. This is a new portable monitor by Glidoscope. It's pretty small and compact, and it's designed to be used with the titanium spectrum single-use blades. So it plugs in just to the same place you would plug your smart cable. So it's obviously quite a small compact device. This bit just folds back down, and we'll plug it in. Hold the power button to turn it on. And you've got a relatively quick power up. We can see at the bottom um, left corner of the screen the time, so 2 hours and 28 minutes left of battery to do the intubation. Um, and the device has quite a lot of viewing angles. So you should be able to get yourself in a good position to see the screen. The only other port that you have, now your power button at the top, you've got the bit to plug into the titanium blades. You've got this micro USB slot. Uh, and this is for a micro USB um, device. And if we plug this device in by Glidoscope, it'll automatically record the intubation. So you see the recording functions coming up on the screen. There's no buttons to press. Just whenever it's on and this is plugged in, it'll record footage. And when you're done, you take this out and spin it around and you can plug it into the standard USB port on your computer and get the footage off. Okay, so plug that back in. So let's have a look and see how it performs to do an intubation. So I've got a normal airway here in a neonatal mannequin. Nice view. Endotracheal tube coming in and no problems doing the intubation. Let's have a look at the Perry Raban baby. Not quite as easy to get a view. There's epiglottis and there's the view in behind it. Endotracheal tube coming in through the cords. It doesn't always advance with the glidoscope. So what I need to do is just retract the stylet partially and then I can advance the tube into the trachea and take the stylet all the way out. So it's pretty light and well balanced in the hand and fairly easy to use and definitely seems to be a nice improvement over their Ranger system. So what I want to do now is compare this to the older Ranger system that it's designed to replace. Okay, so we've now got the Glidoscope Go and the Glidoscope Ranger side by side. Um, so the Glidoscope Go is the new product and the Ranger is their older product. Um, the Glidoscope Go works with their new titanium spectrum single-use blades where the Ranger works for the old AVL system. So you've got the video button that goes into the plastic sat um, and it's obviously connected by a cable. Um, this device is relatively simple to use. There's only one button on it. It's just a power on button. There's no recording function at all. So we'll power the two devices up. Now have a look at the screen side by side. So the size of the screen is fairly similar. Um, one of the things I notice that straight away is on the old system, you can't actually see the stat on the system, whereas the new system, you can see the stat at the top of the screen. So that's a great new addition. I can see how much battery I've got left on the device. I can't see how much battery is left on the Ranger. And again, I've got recording function on the Go, whereas the Ranger, there's no ability to record. The other nice thing with this is it's hands-free. There's no connecting cables, whereas here I've got a big long connecting cable. Um, Size-wise, the blades are actually fairly similar in size. There's not actually that much difference um, with the new titanium spectrum single-use blades compared to the old AVL system in these smaller neonatal sizes. These are both a size 2 blade, um, but certainly when you get up to the adult size 3 and size 4 blades, they are significantly thinner and they offer a real advantage. So let's have a look and see what sort of view I can get with these. Is there any difference? So I've got two models the same, and let's see how we get on. So I'll maybe start off with the right hand first, because that's the one I'm going to struggle with to get the view. Okay, so that's that one in. And let's go into this one. And we'll put them side by side. 
So I think it's fairly clear there is a significant improvement in image quality. You can see how well defined the tissues are and how well defined the cords are um, from the old compared to the, the new device. If we look at space in the mouth, again I'm struggling a little bit to hold this in my right hand. Um, I don't think there's any real significant change and like I say I find certainly with the adult blades um, you didn't get much more of an advantage in saving space but with these neonatal blades there's not they're really were thin enough there's no real space saving but definitely a big improvement in image quality and ease of use. You know, here I'm tied to this cable and also I have to position this on the side of a bed or get somebody to hold it and it's pretty easy to fall over. No difficulty sliding that in and getting the view. And again with this, it's nice to have the freedom that I've got it all in my hand at one go. And again it slides in and getting the view is just as easy. Okay, so now I want to compare the Glidoscope Go against the Ranger system um, using this, the bigger blade. So we've got a size 3 blade loaded up on each system. And I think you can see the real advantage of the titanium spectrum blades here. You can see just how much thinner they are compared to the older AVL system. And this makes a real difference when you have a patient with limited mouth opening. So I'm going to have a look at both of these on this difficult airway model. So we'll start off with the AVL system. And again you can see the cable starting to get in a little bit of the way here. Although we have no problem getting a view. and passing the endotracheal tube is fine. So let's have a look at the Glidoscope Go. And again, similar view, but I do have a little bit more space in the mouth for passing the tube. So what about image quality? Um, again, with the older AVL system, I find that certainly the adult video baton um, give much better image quality than the paediatric one. So the image quality is actually pretty good with this AVL system. So the cords are nicely defined and everything's pretty sharp here. Um, if we pass the tube, let's see how sharp the numbers are or not. So you can see the numbers coming in there. They're actually pretty sharp. Let's compare that to the Go. Again, the numbers are pretty easy to read on the tube. So the, the image quality improvement um, with the new Spectrum blades isn't quite as great in the adult blades. But your advantage in the adult blades is very definitely how much thinner they are um, compared to the older AVL ones. Um, in the smaller neonatal ones, the thinness is about the same. But your big advantage here is improved image quality. So I'm pretty impressed with the Glidoscope Go. Um, I've already had the smart cables for some time using these in the unit, but having the Go will be great from a transport point of view. Um, another big advantage of it is with the um, older system, you needed two video buttons. Um, you know, one was used with the, the smaller pediatric blades, and then the adult size 3 and size 4, you needed an adult video button, and you had to change the cables when you wanted to use them. With the new Go system, this just plugs on to whenever blade you want to use. So definitely I think a big improvement overall and I'm looking forward to getting some hands-on experience of using it in real patients. And again my thanks to Technopath for letting me get some experience of their new product. Thank you.